Are you going to ask me to come in? Thank you. By the way, we're alone. I know that, Sean. So delicate. It's like uh, handling eggshells. Better than walking on them? Certainly didn't take you long to get here. You noticed. You know, says I, you should have called off that woman of yours a long time ago. Yeah, I wondered how long it would take you to figure that out. I must be slipping. All my instincts told me you were behind everything in France. I just wasn't sure. Mm. So, what convinced you? Anna told me she saw one of your cigars out of Windermere. It was the last piece of the puzzle to fit. Yeah. Anna. One thing still bothers me, though. Really? Mm-hmm. What's that? If you were the one who wanted the Wellington collection all along, why did you let me buy it? It's a good question. Do I get an answer? Well... Let's just say I was returning a favor. As I recall, it's your uh, favorite morning drink. No shaken, no stirred. I don't need reminders. No, you know that too. So serious, Sean. What happened to your sense of humor? I lost it in France. <laughs> lost it in France? Oh, please. You know that business was just a rock. No one was hurt. Right. But the mission that the WSB called Frisco in on was not just a romp either. We had Port Charles, Lumina, Annihilation. Now the agency brought him back in because there was a real threat. How did they manage to seduce him? Well, they told him that his closest friends in Port Charles, including me, were in danger. So Port Jones was shaken and stirred? as well. <laughs> I'm glad you find this so amusing. Sean. Sure. Frisco's friends are in no danger. Perhaps at one time. But the picture has changed now. Completely. As you very well know. That's only if I sell you what you want. Precisely. And if I don't? Mood point, Sean. Mood point. You'll be more than happy to give me what I want. Otherwise, I'll have to share certain information about you with people like Anna Devane, Robert Scorpio. Once they know the truth, I don't have to tell you the rest. Do I, Sean? Sure.